sleepless night. Oh, unkind fates. Sail on, fearless mariner, over the seas of adversity, plunging recklessly o'er the tossing currents of the endless ocean of primal time. Sail on, sail on, sail on, mariner. The gale howls, the lashing currents clutch at your frail bark. Oh, mariner, sail on, on the storm-tossed, wine-dark sea of time. Oh, travail, cast not thy anchor in the rushing currents of death. Sail on, sail on, O oh mariner, as the seas crash o'er thy bow. This truly concerned television channel believes in viewer participation. If you want to really enjoy the show, jump up, rush into the kitchen, open that refrigerator door, reach in, and grab a can of ice-cold, beautiful beer, pop the top, and take a deep suck. as the autumn harvest. Right at this instant, all over the world, millions of people are drinking beer. The beer mystique. Universal, unchanging. One of the first things that the caveman did when he crawled out of the mud was to make beer. And cavemen everywhere are still making beer and drinking beer. The Corner Tavern. There's something religious about it. They sit. They talk. They dream. And 
through it all runs beer. The lifeblood. It's late and she's waiting And I know But every time I start to leave, they play another song. And someone buys another round, and whatever drinks are free. What's made Milwaukee famous has made a fool out of me. Babies begged me not to go so many times before. She says love and happiness can't live behind those swinging doors. Now she's gone and I'm to blame too late. I finally see what's made. And uh, we go over to this basement, and he gets this uh, Miller High Life. I get, I get headaches from it because I can, I can, and I, I, look, I drink a lot of beer. I'll tell you that. I can't, I can't stand it. I can't, I can't take it. Now, Kenneth, Kenneth is something different. Now he'll take. You know, he, he's death on taps. I don't know why. And uh, he's just something else, you know. And then we, when he had a party, he had that uh, quarter girl out there. No, two quarter girls. Two quarter girls. Yeah. Taps. And he drank it. When he get no headache, he fell asleep. We put him to bed. We, we put him to bed with uh, two bags of uh, charcoal. Charcoal. And he put his arm around the charcoal, you know. And he says, "Oh, I knew it was in there. I knew it was in there." I said, "How come you put your arm around that?" Thing? Yeah, sure. What's me? So many times before she said love and happy. Yeah, old Harry Hope's bar. Any minute now, Hickey himself, the Iceman, will cometh. Give him a sales pitch, and they'll go charging out, but they'll always come back again for that ice cold frosty. It's not only the beer itself. I wake up sometimes at 3 o'clock in the morning. I hear those songs running through my head. Schaefer, Schaefer. A hundred years from now, in universities and in scholarly enclaves, they'll be playing the beer commercial, studying it. It's the folk song of our time. For me, life doesn't end at the end of the day. It just shifts gears. Pack it up, you dumb. You got to have your fun. A beer's got to be full of taste without making you feel full. I'll stick with Coors Light all the way. Bush. Head for the beer brewed natural as a mountain stream. Match. The best beer anybody ever had, draft beer. Only they couldn't always have it where they wanted it. I 
You gotta take life a day at a time. And since you don't get a second chance to live it, you look for gusto where you find it. Ooh, you are so dear. Come on, baby, I'll buy you a beer. Bull. The only thing you can count on these days is a good beer. It doesn't get any better than this. Full flavor premium beer brewed life. The life here that shares my love of life. Hello there. I'd sure like another Strohs. No way. Alex? Two cold Strohs. <laughs> Where do you see this? Just open the refrigerator. Just open one bottle. Just open the other. Now he's pouring yours. Now he's pouring mine. Alex, you better be drinking your water. Draft beer used to be one of the few enjoyments people had in life. Now, nobody has to settle for less than the best. When you're out of Schlitz, you're out of beer. Come on, I'll race you! Loser buys the pass! Strohs. That's about a 200-mile hike through heavy snow. I know. If you think of it, get two. Mabel! Black Mabel! admit I've always had a thing on Mabel. I see her some nights in crowds, untouchable, in the dark American streets. La da da dee da da dee da 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 da. Where are you tonight, Mabel? Da 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 dee dee. Man, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's one of the most beautiful sights that man ever looks at in his daily life. Oh. Beer! The mother of us all. <laughs> look, as a matter of fact, whenever I, I see a beer sign or a beer commercial, there's a deep thing way down inside of me. It's kind of a, a warm thing that has to do with uh, security, it has to do with life, it has to do with when I was a kid. And I guess that's what beer does to almost every one of us. It's subtle. It doesn't, it isn't just a drink, you know. This is not you. This is beer. In fact, when you go all over the world, no matter where you go, people drink beer. It's probably the only universal language we know. I remember when I was a kid, and this is why beer has this thing with me. My old man used to come home from work every day about six o'clock, you know. And he comes home from the plant, he's sweating. His, his face is wet with sweat. The temperature's 100 degrees outside. The blast furnace dust is drifting down. And you'd hear his feet coming up the back steps. You'd hear boom, 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 boom. Slam, the back door opens. And the instant he got in the kitchen, he was one of these guys that would start dropping his clothes. You know, his shirt comes off, and open comes the pants, he dropped. By the time he would get to the kitchen sink, he would be down to his shoes and his socks and his BVDs. He had about three key buttons always missing. I remember one time, I'm in the kitchen, you know, and I got this girl I'm going out with. The old man comes running in, he caught me flat-footed. And by the time he hit the dining room, there he was, flopping around the BVDs, you know. And what was the first thing he did when he shucked his clothes? He'd go over to the refrigerator, grab it, open it up, and there they'd be. Ice cold. 
He'd take that can of beer and he'd sit down and he'd pour that glass. And he'd take his first, I remember, him, the, I used to watch him as a kid, you know, I'm about five years old. That first big suck of beer, he'd take this thing. And you could see all the troubles of the world would just go drifting away from him. Then he'd take the second one. He'd pick up the paper, and he'd look down at the sport page. Here it is. It's only the first of June. The White Sox are 47 games out of first. The old man would take a suck of beer. He didn't care. Well, one night, you know, this is why I don't believe in, in guys like Edward Albee. And you know, every time I go to the movies or I go to plays and I see these these dramas about married life. I just don't believe them. I don't think people argue about stuff like emasculation. I think they argue about who takes out the garbage. You know, that's that's many a marriage is busted up over that. But one of the great battles that I remember as a kid was about beer. The old man came home one day. The temperature is 105 degrees out. He runs up the back steps comes running into the house, his shirt flies off, he grabs the refrigerator door, he stops. No beer! And I could hear my mother, she's out in the out in the living room someplace, and I could hear her gasp. She went, <laughs> she had forgot to bring the beer home. That night, the biggest battle that I can remember as a kid was fought. And it was about beer. I can remember sleeping, going off to sleep, you know, at 10 o'clock that night. The battle is just slowly beginning to settle down. Once in a while, you'd hear my old man holler from the next room, shut up! My mother would yell something unintelligible. Ever since that time, to me, and I think to millions of other people, beer has been more than a drink. In this glass of beer, you look down into that golden, rich, bubbling, ice-cool depth. You see the echoes of lost battles. You hear the echoes of ancient victories, a million ball games, 10 million football games, and thousands and thousands of family moments, fights, victories, love makings, the backseat of the Pontiac, the long trip on the way to the zoo and to Wajiak, the beer can in the weeds. When you look at that glass of beer, you're looking at life itself, the mother of us all. graduated from college, I didn't have any money, didn't have any jobs, so on the way back to my apartment from the graduation ceremonies themselves, I bought myself a bottle of beer. I went over there to celebrate. It's just sort of naturally spread from then. You know, every time I've had a new brand of beer, I just sort of put it on my dresser after that. But I rapidly ran out of room on the dresser and started building shelves. You 
just to do a professional. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's the easy song. Here it comes. desires, the fears, the aspirations of man and his eternal attempts to crystallize the unsayable, the unthinkable, the ephemeral, and yet the real. In the 21st century, there will be a retrospective exhibition from one of the major unsung art forms of our time. And millions of people will come and marvel at our romanticism. What we said, what we thought, what we felt. And at this very minute, in taverns all over our land, unsung are magnificent examples of it. Beer art. Famous beer. Iroquois, Tomahawk Ale. Pfeiffer, famous beer. Old 
Let's never beer. let anybody ever have a bro beer. When you're out of Schlitz, when you're out of beer. Give me a two. Bosch Premium Beer. This is Gerald Ale. Bartels Pure Beer. Sail on, sail on, O ancient mariner, over the sea of tossing suds. Beer, magnificent beer. Tomorrow night at 8 for startling new information about Custer's Last Stand on Smithsonian World. Stay with us tonight at 11 for prenatal diagnosis on the nature of things. <laughs>